Hello, this is Graham Johnson working with Ludovic Altin and Michelle Sanner in Art Olson's Molecular Graphics Lab at the Scripps Research Institute. Today I want to introduce you to a new plugin we've developed that works in a variety of software packages called the Embedded Python Molecular Viewer. It enables a user to access and manipulate chemical data and other scientific data formats directly inside of a variety of professional 3D software application packages. In this first demonstration I'm just going to show you a handful of applications for the software and then I will show you how to download it and use it. Here we've loaded a file, protein database file, one CRN, that's Crambin. I'm going to turn off this extreme depth of field for these renderings. Directly from the protein database, I've used the embedded Python molecular viewer software, which exists in this window here, to generate a traditional ball and stick model with carbons in gray, oxygens in red, nitrogens in blue and since that point I've generated a ribbon model I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit here and we'll turn off the stick so that we can see the ribbon better um, showing you some of the advantages of the 3D software we can add lights to our scene, turn lights off in a relatively intuitive manner I can uh, add shadows for example and as we move that throughout the scene you can see its effects instantaneously in the 3D software application EPMV allows us to generate a variety of formats including molecular surfaces, the ribbons I already showed you, coarse molecular surfaces which give you a simplified outline of the protein, space filling models give you a nice representation the space occupied by the electrons and the atoms and the atom types and I just want to turn off the specularity of these lights and you have other bizarre advantages that have questionable utility for scientific software applications like real-time physics engine solvers. In the next movie I'll show you how to get started if you're a scientist who's not familiar with professional 3D software applications I'll show you how to download and install this particular package which is the easiest to use Cinema 4D. We also have versions available for Maya and Blender and I'll have some tutorials to get you up and running with Cinema 4D, but you can follow along in my end Blender as well. Uh, we intend to have more packages available in the near future, and I'll show you how to download and install the software that you need, which runs behind the scenes. That's Michelle Sanders' embedded, or, uh, Michelle Sanders' Python Molecular Viewer, and then how we can run some scripts developed by Ludovic to get this active plugin up and running in your software. Tune into the next movie.